Well, hello there, and welcome to the Cruza Crusader Kings free stream. So, this is a great game, a game that released just yesterday. Uh, of course, like this is a second part in a running uh, CK series or Crusader Kings series. Like I'm a huge fan of um, CK2. It was my first, basically. Paradox Development Studio game that I uh, well spent more than a hundred hours in. It's uh, fantastic. It's amazing. It's amazing role-playing experience. It allows you to delve deeper into the historical world of uh, you know medieval ages, tasted, tried, all that stuff. And CK3 does all the same things that uh, CK2 does. Well, okay, not all. But definitely more than the base game of the uh, Crusader Kings 2 did. And but this is a modern game, you know. It's like it's good looking. It's a uh, well, I, I wouldn't say it's easy to grasp, easy to understand. Here to learn how to play. Great stuff. Then this is the stream for you. So um, Crusader Kings 3 again, as I was saying, is like. Um, A modern game, so it's not that uh, mind-shattering pain to learn how to play it, uh, like say Victoria 2 or Crusader Kings 2 on release or uh, Europa in the South 3. Uh, it does not have that many mechanics, it has a very good UI, a nice tutorial, nice uh, reactive advice and suggestion systems, all this stuff. It just makes the game so much easier and better to understand and comprehend. So um, here we can see the main menu of the game, and uh, well, this is uh, basically um, uh, here uh, we can see a preview of my family that I was playing at, and that's uh, Rurikid family as King Helgi the Seer, whom we can see here in the middle, you know, with his magnificent hair, magnificent beard, and a nice crown. Like, despite being a witch, a murderer, a kinslayer, and all that bad stuff, and I should mention that it wasn't my fault. You know, like, he did it on its own, before I started playing as the character. Because in Crusader Kings 3, you play as the dynasty. You do not play as a, as a single character entity. You play as a whole dynasty. And when your ruler dies, well, you're succeeded by his heir. And all mistakes, all his past decisions, they will affect you. So this guy here, Helgi, well, he was a bad boy. And when we started playing as him, it was just awful, just abysmal, you know? Everyone hated him, and it was really tough to repair all the things, but now he has a nice, uh, good-looking wife who is pregnant, by the way. Uh, you can see everything on your 3D models. He has a grown-up son uh, who is, uh, well, getting ready to succeed the throne after uh, Helgi dies. So it's always nice to, you know, when you load up the game, to just get this uh, glimpse of uh, what happened to your dynasty, to your family, and well, what will happen later. But again, uh, this is like an achievement run, uh, like, you know, a 867 tribal start. It's not uh, like your usual uh, Crusader Kings experience. So today, we instead shall start a new game. And yeah, we shall uh, discuss some stuff. So mm, on this uh, starting screens, you can see we have like... Uh, Two starting dates, 8.67 and 10.66. Uh, and some suggested characters. These are, uh, like, it's important to mention that this is not, like, these guys, they're interesting to play due to some different reasons. They're, like, historical characters, important for the story, uh, like, for example, I don't know, this Rurik Rurikid is a founder of a famous Rurik dynasty. 
that ruled, uh, you know, the Russian Empire, uh, uh, well, basically until being succeeded by uh, Romanov dynasty in the 16th century. Or, uh, yeah, like, uh, in 1066 it's even uh, more so, with, you know, the famous William the Bastard, Duke of Normandy, who later uh, is to conquer England, or maybe not, because, say, King Harold, you play as King Harold and you defend, or you play as uh, Harold Hardrad and then just, well, you know, get all the Scott, uh, get uh, all the land for yourself. Uh, so, all these characters, they are, uh, you know, like, they're somewhat interesting to play, and uh, they're, like, cited here as, uh, you know, characters of interest, well, for a reason, but the game is not limited to that. You can press the button, plays any character in 1066, and then, uh, yeah, just wait for the loading times. And then you have uh, this beautiful map, like really gorgeous, awesome paper map, where you can select, well, anyone. You can play as uh, Maharaja, or you can dive deeper into his realm and play as uh, Tikana Munja, Takur Munja. Takur Marsima, or anyone. Uh, only like limitation is that character needs to own some land, somewhere, anywhere. Does not matter. So uh, um, today um, I was planning to maybe you have some suggestion who should we play as in uh, 1066 um, starting date. You know there are like again. A lot of interesting uh, char characters. I was uh, mostly looking into playing as uh, some, uh, you know, Catholic feudal uh, guy. So again, we have faith map mode, so you c you can see that uh, people are following a lot of different faiths al around the world. But we probably should focus on uh, not republic or theocracy. Well, yeah, okay, <laughs> uh, maybe later. So uh, we could probably uh, uh, focus on some uh, Catholic. And uh, we should, yeah, here in a little plus here you can see additional map modes. So let's take a look at governments. Uh, at 1066 uh, most people in Europe are either feudal or clan government. There are not many tribals left. Uh, no idea, I'm super new to CK3. Well, I, I, yeah, I mean, uh, maybe you just know history and you have your favorite, uh, like, I don't know, duke, man, guy, dude, bro. Um, so yeah, uh, we have sort of different uh, government types as well as religions and that um, like shapes a lot how do you play the game and what do you play. Uh, so playing in uh, different, uh, you know, uh, governments in different religions, well, these playthroughs will uh, differ a lot. So for example, we want to play as a Catholic feudal, so somewhere in... Uh, in this land. We can uh, get back to the realms here. Uh, I don't know, like, uh, say we want to play in France as a... Um, I've heard that... Uh, like, I don't know, we have uh, different uh, dukes, so we have uh, different uh, counts, uh, or maybe we could also play someone in uh, Holy Roman Empire. Duke Ordulf. Uh, Duke of Holland, yeah, super young and with such little land, will be kind of interesting to see what he can do. Maybe we could play, you know, an, uh, on a border of Holy Roman Empire to be, well, basically protected by the HRE on the one hand, while still uh, able to expand. Uh, like, maybe we should play as Duke Ernst of Austria. Why not? Like, uh, Catholic, Franconian dude. He is diligent, he is honest, he is callous. Well, I mean, it could be beneficial. His uh, direct leash is Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire. His heir is uh, his son, Leopold von Babenberg. So, how is Babenberg? Yeah, Duchy of Austria. Why not? Let's go. Uh, so, um, there are some uh, other important uh, things that you should take a look here. So uh, difficulty is like you have only normal, easy or very easy um, 
settings. Only normal allows for achievements. So game rules. Game rules is um, quite a big thing. You have uh, quite a lot here. Uh, and sadly it does not save uh, the, your like custom game rules between the sessions. But it's okay. So I usually play on Iron Man, for example, because, well, uh, Iron Man means that you cannot manually save and load a game. You cannot save scum. Uh, you cannot switch characters, you cannot use console. Just, you play the game as it goes. Uh, so, I do prefer switching off ex Exclave uh, Independence. Uh, so, independent rulers can have disconnected land anywhere in the world. It's, um, in my opinion, it creates more of a, you know, wholesome medieval experience when everyone can uh, inherit land anywhere and then have some weird realms leading to a lot of border gore. Yeah, like that. These are all, uh, you know, rules uh, concerning diseases, gender equality, heresies, historical invasions, uh, different game rules. You can uh, play until 1453, which is the default endgame, or you can, uh, you know, just go forever, like stay in me medieval forever, but we'll keep it on default. And, uh, yeah, uh, I also prefer to switch custom kingdoms off, uh, just, you know, to keep it more or less historical. And then, yeah, you can, like, sexuality distribution, same-sex relations, but we will keep everything else on uh, historical except those two settings that I mentioned above. And set on Iron Man. And yeah, let's uh, play as Duke Ernst of Austria. Because, well, why not? So, uh, yeah. Uh, let's save the game. So, for Iron Man game, you have uh, one save file that you always save to. And you see the load times are, well, instantaneous. Okay, so. We are here. Like, we are Duke of Austria, we are inside Holy Roman Empire. So, uh, what to do? What, what do we do now? Well, um, first let's take a look at all these alerts up here. And especially the issues tab. So, uh, we can uh, cast our boat for the air uh, to the Holy Roman Empire. Holy Roman Empire has an elective succession, so we can elect someone. Well, it's it's not that big of a deal. We'll uh, sh take a look at the whole, uh, you know, political situation in the HRE first, and uh, only later get to the point. So, no lifestyle chosen. You have no last step. Okay, what does it mean? Our character, Duke Ernst of Austria. Well, uh, who is he? Like, you know, what kind of person he is? Well, these are his traits: diligent, honest, callous. And this is his education trait, he's a flamboyant trickster. So, uh, what does it mean? It um, changes his... Uh, uh, how to say it? Like, his uh, qualities? Or what's the correct in-game name for this thing here? Yeah. Skill. Yeah, exactly. Skills. Uh, yeah, by the way, everything has a c contextual... Contextual... Uh, like this little... Uh, pop-ups, and you can always, like, if you see a world word in blue, you can always hover over it and get info, and then, uh, yeah, you can hover over another word here, and go to it, and go to it, and, you know, it's just a pop-up section. Still, uh, so you have uh, five skills that determine how good is your character at, you know, what he does in general. Uh, Diplomacy, martial, stewardship, intrigue, and learning. They affect different uh, things and values, and basically, you know, uh, characterize how good is he in different spheres of his life. Uh, character also has prowess, like basically his military uh, single-handed prowess. How good is he with his sword and shield, or pike, or axe, or whatever preferred weapon of choice? So we are Catholic, we are Franconian. Um, so, uh, Duke Ernst, uh, he's, well, kind of a ever, your average guy, he's not like, am I using time tool tips or middle click? I prefer middle. So there's a setting in game uh, where uh, you can uh, 
<coughs> you can see it actually on stream that you know when I press my middle mouse button uh, the border on this uh, pop-up tooltip changes and that means that it's locked now and I can you know take a look at it normally so yeah middle uh, mouse button is my preferred way of using these tooltips uh, okay so let's take a look what do we own what do we own exactly so we are the Duke of Austria Duchy of Austria uh, is a de jure duchy in the Holy Roman Empire part of the Kingdom of Bavaria so Kingdom of Bavaria is here and Duchy of Austria well is right here currently we do not possess the entirety of the de jure duchy of Austria uh, so county of Amstetten is currently not owned by us and is instead owned by uh, Count Richer. So Count Richer is a vassal of the uh, Duchy of Steiermark. So basically if we want to, you know, make our Austria whole again, we'll have to go to war with Duchy of uh, Steiermark for uh, this uh, county and we should have, uh, you know, the appropriate CB, so if we right click on the shield there and choose declare war, uh, I should. Uh, I do have a claim on Dutch of Sturmark. Oh, I do have a Dutch of Sturmark, a claim on a whole Dutch. So we have titles that we own right now and we have claims on other titles. So we currently own a county of Hohenau, county of Wien, and Dutch of Austria. We have some vassals within the Duchy of Austria, so we do not own the entirety of Duchy of Austria ourselves. Uh, we have some vassals, uh, Count of Krems, Prince Bishop of Sankt Pölen, and County of Freistadt. Okay, and um, we have some claims, so we have claim on a whole Duchy of Steiermark, we have, uh, and we have claims on basically, well, our uh, lands in our duchy. So, Duchy of Steiermark, again, uh, if we were to declare war, we can, uh, you know, seize the de jure land in Duchy of Austria. De jure, like, by law, we own this land, so objective is Duchy of Austria, basically, uh, well, uh, we uh, get a count of Amstetten as our vessel if we win this war. You can always take a look at what is the objective. You can change your objective if it's like you use the same CB for several objectives. And then you can always see what will be the outcome of this war. Uh, so yeah, basically this is the same. It's just that uh, this one costs 90 prestige to declare the war. This costs 540. But like in this case, there's no point in uh, using Cis the Duchy of Austria CB because it's just for one county anyway. But we could also, you know, uh, declare a war for our claims. So uh, here we can uh, change. We have like two claims on this guy, on uh, this guy, Duke Ottokar, a county of Amstetten and Duchy of Steiermark. So we can use either one of them, and you can see that the cost changes. Okay. So, uh, yeah, these are our opportunities for expansion. Uh, so, these are our titles and claims. We're allied to Duke of Lausitz. Where is Lausitz? Right here. So, we are allied to this Duke here, probably due to some marriages or something. Okay. So, uh, we have our family. We have our uh, wife. Uh, so, a righteous villain. Okay, honest, sadistic, just, amateurish, plotter wife. She is 30 years old. She is not that good, honestly. Uh, can we divorce, divorce her? No. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm just asking. Just asking. Like. So, we have three beautiful children. Uh, Leopold von Babenberg, our primary son and heir, who is a callous, arbitrary, craven, tough soldier and cautious leader. Well, uh, 
he's not good. He's not good at all. Oh my god. Leopold? Leopold? Oh. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, one of his alerts here is heir unmarried, so we should probably, you know, find a spouse for our heir. So let's take a look. So we have um, <clears throat> Princess Maria of Hungary. Chaste, brave, calm. Chaste is uh, not that good for a, uh, you know, for your wife that you want, like, you know, to have babies with to, well, enlarge your dynasty. Like, yeah, she has some claims, and this will lead to some good alliances. But they're both chaste. Let's um, let's take a look. Um, so Welsh, I assume, uh, yeah. These are all uh, some daughters of them uh, in the Duchy of Gwynedd. One pr principality is just a, you know, a regional name for a duchy. So we have Bolislava here, County of Terbolov. So, uh, you know, there are not that many good women out there. And of course, we like our son is 16 years old. We want to have like, someone at least similar age, maybe. Ah, uh, like I mean, this chaste women with fertility minus twenty five percent is not that good, but maybe they will do, maybe not. Like it really depends on what do we want to get from this uh, marriage. Do we want a good alliance? Do we want a good wife? Do we want a good congenital trait? Like, you can always use a filter, and here you can say, I want some uh, traits, inheritable traits. So let's take a look at inheritable traits. For example, this uh, young woman here, Mentia Lopez de Haro, she is a um, Catholic of Basque culture, and she's quick. And quick, she doesn't have to be the only mother in the family. Why? Why would you say that we're good Catholics here, you know? Like, we do not do this sort of things. Or, or maybe we do? Like, it kind of depends. So, uh, you can always marry a lowborn, just for some good traits. Like, for example, this Yudok uh, Yevdekia here. Well, uh, you know, she's Orthodox, she's Greek, but she's genius. And genius? Well, you can see it... Uh, it has uh, this uh, diamond shaped uh, shield, like green diamond shaped shield. This means that this trait is congenital. And congenital trait is like. Uh, it can be inherited by offsprings. So, uh, propor proper breeding, as you know, the tooltip says, it is possible to reinforce some such traits. For example, if both parents are quick. Let's take a look at a quick trait. Uh, so uh, it gives plus one to all stats, so it's definitely good. And plus 10% monthly lifestyle experience. It's like brilliant trait. And then there's a chance that their children will get even better intelligent trait. Uh, so plus three to all stats and plus 20% monthly lifestyle experience. And genius trait is basically the highest top tier level of this uh, intelligent quick trait, giving plus 5 to all stats and plus 30% monthly lifestyle experience. So it's like a great trait to have. I'm not sure how this woman is uh, quick and genius at the same time, but maybe it is allowed to have two traits of the same uh, type at the same time. Like, again, I've got less than 10 hours into the game, I have not ex yet experienced all the things. But anyway, Yudekia, like, yeah, she is a lowborn. This will not give us any alliance whatsoever, but she is like a quick genius. And he is our primary heir. So, you know, yeah, let's go. Like, Leopold will lose prestige because, you know, he's marrying a lowborn, and landed lowborn. But it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. So yeah, let's send the proposal. I mean, quick genius ladies are the best. So let's get back to our family. 
we have another son, Adalbert. Uh, so, uh, yeah, he is just nine years old. He's still growing up. Who is uh, his uh, guardian? He does not have a guardian. Let's uh, then uh, educate the child ourselves. Yeah. And then uh, education focus, uh, stewardship education. Hmm. I mean, stewardship education is okay. Yeah, and he will do well with the stewardship education, him being pensive and stuff. So, uh, Duke Ernst of Austria, let's get back to you. And you have daughter as well, your youngest, Adelheid von Babenberg. Well, uh, she's charming, uh, she's nice. Uh, let's marry her. Well, I mean, not marry, but betrothed, of course, because she's, you know, like only eight years old. But we could, uh, you know, stake a betrothal with someone for some good alliances, if need be. I mean, uh, just some counts. Well, that's a touch of Duclea, but. These are some Serbs far away, and he's 32 years old. Like, Gabriel is nice and well, but maybe not. Maybe we could uh, marry her off a bit later for some good alliances. So, our uh, relationships is our only word. Let's take a look at our vessels. So, we have uh, basically three. Count level vassals and two like mayor baron, baron level level uh, vassals. Some of them are considered powerful, and powerful vassals want to be on our uh, council. So let's take a look at our council. These are the people who you know help us serve the realm. So all these guys are already in place. They're not great at their jobs, except for a steward and marshal, but that's okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, so uh, let's back to uh, lifestyles. So our duke, he has uh, flamboyant trickster uh, intrigue uh, education. So, uh, yeah, you can choose, uh, like, as you have five skills, you can choose uh, one of uh, five uh, lifestyles. Uh, double genetic traits is a setup bug, won't happen to new characters. Oh, yep, there's the explanation for you. Um, does it increase the chance of, like, inheriting and improving con congenital traits, though? Maybe? I don't know. But it doesn't matter if it's just a setup bug. You know, CK3 is a long game, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon, so, you know, setup does not matter that much. So we get some uh, bonus experience in our entry education, but it does not mean that we have to, you know, uh, go towards Intrigue all the time, but characters start with some uh, setup traits. Uh, we have a, like some perks in a Seducer tree, and that gives us uh, some uh, abilities. So, for example, increased fertility for our character, and then uh, Unshackled Lust. Removes attraction penalties in seduction schemes. Okay. Tear difference. Ancestors penalty. Adults over the age of 19. Yeah, right. Seduction scheme power. Seduction scheme success chance against courtiers and guests. So, yeah, home advantage. Nice names. Graceful recovery. Okay, we cannot no longer critically fail seductions. Seductions. Lovers less likely to join murder schemes, and seducer is a trait that you get uh, well, upon finishing this tree, which gives you even more intrigue, fertility, and attraction opinion. Uh, I'm not sure. Like, not sure is this is this what we want to do here? Like, do we want to seduce women all along? I don't know, like, maybe, maybe not. Like, there's Duchess Matilda, always, 
Always Duchess Matilda. But other than that, like, do we really want to... Let's take a look at our dynasty. So we have 14 living members. Uh, open dynasty tree. So um, here is our branch of the dynasty. Duke Ernst and our children. Then we have some nephews. Uh, well, nieces actually. You don't have to seduce only women if you're proficient enough. Yeah, uh, yeah. I guess. So, they are like in the uh, county of Tokum. Well, I mean, she is the Countess of Tokum. Okay. Then we have some uh, distant relatives. Some courtiers, but they're not landed. Okay, so uh, Otto von Wittelsbach. Uh, dynasty von Wittelsbach is a new dynasty, so Otto here, he basically founded a new dynasty of, of our Babenberg dynasty, and then we have some uh, other people living in Dokum. Where's uh, Dokum at? Like, county of Dokum. Right here, so our relatives are living in... Uh, Frisia, actually. New house, not dynasty. But it did say dynasty on Wittelsbach. No? Like, it's dynasty von Wittelsbach. It's it's a whole dynasty, no? House Wittelsbach. Wittelsbach dynasty. Are they considered like a... Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, uh, yeah, uh, like, again, these are just set up things. So, we have a dynasty von Babenberg, and uh, we have only one house, I guess. Only house of uh, Babenberg. And we're the dynasty head, we're the house head, aren't we? Yes, we are. Okay, getting back to lifestyles. I mean, so do you think everyone is fun and games and such, but is it what we really want to do? Or what do we want to do? Well, uh, I mean, we have uh, those Hungarians to the east, uh, who are like strong and powerful, and uh, Catholic as well. Uh, we want to play some internal politics inside the HRE, so that's where, that's where intrigue could come in handy. Definitely, but probably not uh, seduction, you know? I mean, seducer is fun and all, but maybe we should uh, get towards, uh, you know, more of a schemer and try to scheme everything everywhere and not seduce everyone, everything, everywhere. So, uh, anyway, let's go towards uh, Skullduggery focus. And let's take a look at uh, all these uh, helpful issues and suggestions in this uh, tab. So, I'm in line to inherit uh, titles. Third in line for County of Tokum and County of Frisia. So again, uh, like just as we saw, our uh, living relatives are uh, in Frisia. So, you know, in, uh, in a case, our uh, nieces and sisters-in-law, well, you know, disappear due to some unforeseen circumstances, we could inherit uh, County of Frise and County of Dokken. Like, it's possible. It's possible. So, uh, again, uh, we married off Leopold already. We just have to unpause and wait for the event to spawn. Let's take a look at our um, military situation. So we have uh, some knights and ladies, but no men at arms. So uh, let's take a look at the military tab. Hitting a free or this button here, military tab. So we could uh, create some men at arms regiments if we had money, of course. Uh, so we have quite a 
wide variety with, uh, like, you know, quite a lot of them. So uh, we have some siege men at arms, onagers, and even mangonels. Like siege weapons, they all uh, cost some money to create and maintain afterwards, but mangonels could be definitely extremely useful during the sieges. While, uh, well, different types of men at arms, they counter each other, they're better in different terrains, so, you know, it's mix and match. But for now, we do not have the money, so, uh, how to make money? Well, we get some money from the main, we get some uh, money from our vessels. Our domain limit is just 4. Uh, never mind, it's actually 5. The game needs to update, but it's actually 5. So we could hold up to 5 uh, counties without any restrictions. Let's take a look at uh, 2 counties that we hold ourselves right now. Wien and Hohenau. So, uh, county of Wien, it has uh, 5 baronies in it, and uh, so we have a castle in Wien, we have a city in Ernstbrunn, we have a castle in Florisdorf, and we have a temple in Bruck. So, uh, does our bishop endorse us? Yep, so they, uh, like he does, pay us taxes and levies. Endorsement, uh, well, basically every temple uh, kind of holding in your realm, like uh, this one here, Bishopric of Brook, is controlled by our uh, bishop. Well, is controlled by church, let's put it this way, right? And the church will only pay you taxes and levies if they endorse you. Well, at least in Catholic faith, right? We're talking Catholic here. And, uh, yeah, basically, for your realm priest to endorse you, you need to have opinion of plus one or greater. And there's that. And then you can gain levies and taxes from his church holdings. So, here, uh, like this little baronies, Florisdorf and Erth Amsbrun, they're held by, uh, well, mayor and baron, not by ourselves. We're controlling uh, the main holding. Like, the more he likes you, the more he pays. Oh, that's uh, good to know. That's good to know. Is there a tooltip somewhere here? Realm priests. Please. Okay, realm priests with levies and the higher the opinion of their leash, the more they will provide. Indeed, indeed. So basically, you want the opinion of your uh, bishop to be as high as possible. So let's try to sway him, not seduce, sway. Just sway. Yeah. Let's start with him and uh, try to improve his opinion of us to get more monies and more uh, levies. So back to Vin, our castle holding. We have regimental clearings built here, as well as mansions. So we could, uh, we have a couple of building slots. We could build some uh, usual buildings, or we can go to this duchy building slot. See, with this like this little thingies on the edges. This is a duchy building slot. Like this costs a lot, but they give you some uh, additional bonuses. It's good to see, but right now we do not have any money. We're more like look just so we have some crop fields here that increase tax income, mansions and regimental clearings again uh, giving us some more tax, some more levies. Not not much, not really. Okay, so our current military situation is again like abysmal. We have 800 troops. Uh, our like neighboring rival, Duchy of Starmark, has less, technically, and, uh, like, on the start date, he does not have any, you know, any allies, so we could just, you know, day one, without unpausing, just go for the claim of, uh, 
Duchy of Steiermark and get more uh, lands, you know, more uh, more vassals, you might get wrong levy values before in boss. Uh, I mean, what can possibly go wrong, right? Exactly. So let's take a look at the garrisons. Do we have enough levies to, you know, siege down something? So 400 garrison, we have like 800 levies, so... I mean, again, what can possibly go wrong? Uh, so yeah, my claim on a Duchy of Steiermark, gain the contested title, and gain fame, gain prestige. Yeah, I should probably talk about like this prestige, fame, and piety devotion thingies at some time point. But for now, let's let's get into some action. Let's declare this war, just because we can. Yeah, so we could call in our uh, ally. Oh yeah, and this contextual music. Ooh. So we could spend some prestige and call in uh, our ally to the score. Let's call to war. Yep. And then uh, we can uh, we have a relay point in Bean. So you know, just push this button, uh, handy, very handy button. Raise all armies. Just raise all the guys. Give them a couple days to fully race, and they're ready to strike. So let's go and siege down, you know, our neighboring baron. So I was gonna talk about, uh, okay, I shall join you in this war. Yes, our foes shall learn to fear the man of lousiness. Excellent, excellent. And yeah, our uh, son married this uh, quick genius woman good to see hopefully uh, like you know our grandchildren will be geniuses as well so he has uh, actually 1300 troops it's, uh, it's more than we have so we should probably retreat and uh, join up with our ally for now um, yep just retreat towards North. Oh, looks like he caught us. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. So we are gonna lose this battle. Hopefully that's okay. Like, you know, hopefully our allies will uh, come in and save the day. Uh... Okay, motivated workers, so we are retreating towards the Barony of Prerov. That's okay, it's fine. We can always ponder hiring some mercenaries, but we do not have enough money. Do we have anyone in prison? No, we do not. To get some money off of them. Okay, so let's uh, stop retreating and get back into our territory, replenish a bit, and hopefully, you know, like counter this siege of uh, Vin together with our allies. So, if our allies could uh, please uh, join us, you know, it would be awfully nice. So, men at arms, uh, yeah, cheapest are light footmen, but I would like to get at least bowmen if possible, you know. So, my dear ally, can we group up, say, in uh, Sankt Polen and then kick those invaders out of Wien? Yes, invaders are uh, running. Let's impulse and let's go in. Let's fight. Let's kill them. They're trying to siege down our holding in Florisdorf. Let's chase them. Okay, so... They do have some defensive terrain and a river crossing, so probably should just now go and uh, siege down Pitten with our ally. Yeah, allies are so uh, so. It's so nice to have an ally. Let's uh, get some uh, bowmen, huh? 
Come on, interface, I'm clicking. I swear to whatever, I'm clicking. Bowman. Okay, thank you. Thank you, interface. Uh, let's uh, create uh, Bowman Man at Arms. Uh, do they join us right away? Let's take a look. Mm, no, we should probably uh, like raise them. So, uh, uh, can I raise them uh, individually? I should be able to. Uh, race, race, race. Is there a button to raise your uh, dudes? Can I like raise them separately? No, let's destroy the regiment. Is there a button somewhere here maybe to raise an army? And arms get raised at first rally point, but... Okay, so yeah, just raise all here. Uh, yep, okay, they got raised. So yeah, let's group them up with our main army here. Maybe give them some time to, you know... To replenish. So yeah, basically you just click your rally point and click raise army there. Sinful Prince Archbishop exposed. Okay. Uh, my ally, could you please not abandon me here in Bitten? Because I'm scared. How come we are speed 1? That's not what I intended to. I was like, why is the game so slow? Because I'm at speed 1. Not sure why. Okay, so... Uh, oh, by the way, um, I tried to set up the sound levels as best as I could, but... Just in case, if you find something like too loud or too quiet, please do write so in the chat, and then, uh, yeah. Just get in. So, um, while we're sieging, we could talk about prestige and level of aims. So you have, uh, you know, for different actions you get prestige or piety, and uh, you can spend it on different stuff, but uh, then like you have this uh, fame and devotion which are like static values so you do not spend you just earn uh, your fame and devotion over time by earning prestige and piety but you're not spending them and then you can get uh, different levels of fame and devotion depending on you know how much have you earned so plan here is to uh, siege down uh, Baron of Bitten and then get back and uh, yeah Try to battle them at V. Okay, spouse, up to the task. Some of my counselors believe the job is theirs by right of blood and influence alone. How wrong they are. I expect results, yet I am often disappointed. After a long day, I am complaining to Adlehide, my wife, when she interrupts me. Let me do something about it, husband. A few lessons might sharpen their wits. Okay, so... Um, we could uh, let her uh, lecture some of our uh, advisors. Or, you know, just stay here with me instead. And then uh, they will uh, get better at their job, I guess. So, yeah, or... Uh... Yeah, I mean... Like, she kind of likes us already. Like, our uh, advisors... Well, our bishop is kind of crap. Our spy master is crap as well. Uh, let's... Uh, uh, like, the opinions are... What? Are you a dwarf? Yes, you are. Okay. Um, so, yeah, our advisors are kind of positive. But yeah, let's uh, let's give some advice to Spy Master. And yeah, the siege of Pitten should be done soon. 
Yep. And we get some money, we get some prisoners. Ooh, that's Countess Agnes and his son and heir Jakob. Okay, that's, uh, that's of some value, for sure. Let's try to convince our ally to go uh, to the with us and, you know, battle us there. Looks like they're running away yet again, but we caught up with them and our allies are here. So this is the battle screen, these are some like, battle combat rolls, advantages and soldiers on both sides. You know, they're just battling one another. Usually if you have like better general, better terrain advantage, better like quality um, and quantity, you win. You know, that's the general concept. But there are a lot of sublettes to this thing, but I, I don't think it's in the in a scope of this uh, tutorial, not really. So we should take care about our supplies. So we resupplied while uh, getting back to the and then uh, yeah, let's uh, help our ally and siege down Barony of Murtzuschlag. Okay, so victory at Battle of the gave us some fame. And um, yeah, our commander was wounded in the battle and gave us some war score. Uh, we lost like 250 people, they lost almost 400 people, so that's definitely a victory. Let's go siege down some more. So uh, in, a, in a war, we have a war score. War score uh, depends on uh, four things. One of them is battles, so when you win and not lose battles. You get positive war score from battles. Occupying enemy land gives you a war score. Uh, prisoners, when you capture someone who is of uh, like significance, I don't know, some land and landed characters, or maybe even, uh, you know, for example, if I capture Duke Otakar, I win the war instantly, basically. And uh, objectives, currently objective is Duchy of Steiermark, so I have to occupy the whole duchy to get a ticking war score, you know, it has a tick here, because it's a ticking war score, it ticks over time, and that's why there's a tick, I guess. Okay, shady discussion, uh -huh. passing through castle gardens, morning walk, Adelberon, my knight, and Yudaki, uh, you're like a uh, wife, my son's wife, okay. Uh, secluded spot, nobody's listening, okay. Their discussion discussion is related to Mayor, my uh, spy master, Mayor Beryl, okay. Uh, intrigue challenge, I learned the subject, or I guess, okay. <laughs> Again, dread, or I lose dread. Uh, let's try. Uh, let's try uh, pursuing this uh, intrigue challenge. Oh no, I don't want to get stress. I'm honest. I'm sure it's probably nothing important. I don't care. So our leash has passed limiter crown authority. What kind of crown authority do we have here? We have autonomous vassals. Now let's let's go up to. Yeah, let's go up to limited. Okay, so we are successfully sieging down uh, Barony of Hürtzuschlag and, uh, well, they are trying to siege down Wien, but they do not have enough soldiers to siege down Wien, so I could just forget about them and, you know, just go get more occupations. So let's take a look at uh, the Yuri Duchy of uh, Steiermark. Last chance. Shriots, uh, who are you? My mother? My mother? Like, you want to leave me? Mom, why? Because you have, like, a claim on Grand City of Venezia? And that's why you're leaving me? Because I do not press your claim? Mom? Oh. Come on. So, Dutch of Steiermark consists of Kratz, uh, Leibniz, and uh, Mützerschlag. So, yeah, there are a lot of sieges to do, but that's okay. Liberty faction against Emperor Heinrich. Okay. So, uh, Duke of Upper Lorraine wants to be independent from the Holy Roman Empire. 
Ah, sure, dude. Whatever. What are our, uh, you know, succession laws in uh, Duchy of Austria? Is it like Confederate partition, male preference? Of course. Of course. Okay, we siege down uh, Mürzerschlag. Let's go siege down Graz, I guess. Why not? So, I would assume we only need to siege down uh, castles in there. Uh, you're a big boy, you can live alone now. Yeah, but don't you think it's a little, like, weird that your mom leaves you just because you do not press her claim for some, like, city of Venezia or something? That's kind of eh. Okay, so um, my son, Adelbert, plays with other children. Okay, a brawl had broken out, so uh, yeah, we can uh, give some uh, traits to our uh, second son. He can keep a ruffle. We can uh, like we can gain stress to learn him to be teach him to be forgiving or fickle. Fickle being uh, okay changes their mind more often than not hard to predict. Nah, uh, forgiving. Forgiving is kind of a good trait and it's virtuous to Catholics but this is my second son so I mean Raffle is not that bad so yeah. Gave as good as he got. Let our second son be Raffle. Okay, Leech goes to war on Duke Krutoy. Duke Krutoy, Duke Krutoy of Valencia. So uh, yeah, this guy's here. Holy War for County of Vernabia. Okay, I'm pretty sure my leash can handle this one. Maybe, hopefully. You only need to siege things with forts. If you build building with fortification bonus in a city or temple, those become siegeable to I see. I see. So you can build like. Fortify your city or fortify your temple and then Yeah, and then uh, enemies will have to siege them down as well. Okay uh, Sway and opportunity in my attempts to align in Gomer to my interests. I found an opportunity Okay So uh, I can try to Sway him uh, More or like, you know, just 30 opinion and that's it. Let's try it. I mean, it's 72% chance to get some prestige and more opinions, so... Yep, 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 we gain prestige and uh, our bishop loves us. Just loves us. Let's maybe try to uh, romance our uh, wife. You know, just because a loving wife is always good. Oh, yes. Roman's declaration of love. So, our uh, wife is a honest, just sadist. Like, what would you do to an honest, just sadist to declare your love to her? Eh. Uh, should I? So, romance here actually. I was kind of thinking about divorcing her. Uh, maybe I should not have done it actually, no? Uh, uh, so, let's try to botch this scheme. Uh, let's try to, I don't know, like, sing a love ballad. Uh, you have a beautiful voice, my lord. Okay, okay. Uh, so, yeah, let's uh, let's maybe try to uh, sway the Pope instead. Mr. Pope, dude, man, bro, let's try to sway you. Yeah, it's uh, it will be a difficult thing to do, but I want a divorce. Maybe I could, like... 
Uh, no, I, I, I cannot really. I'm honest. Like, what kind of a skimmer am I if I am honest? Maybe I should have picked another lifestyle, you know? Honest, uh, I'm a seducer. It might become stressful to have romance and many lovers. Problem is, I'm an honest seducer, you know? So I'm not like... Uh, I'm bad at my job. Like, what kind of an honest man I am if I'm trying to kill my wife or, like, seduce the Pope or maybe the other way around, I'm not sure. Yeah, probably I should have picked another uh, focus, but in three years' time we will. Okay. So, uh, our ally calls us to war and as a defender. Yeah, yeah, of course, we shall accept. Okay, okay, so we are... Okay, this war is won, basically. We took Duke Otakar's son, so I assume that gives us, yeah, 25% war score from prisoners. And, yeah, this will allow us to enforce our demands in our war. So we get the Duchy of Starmark. We get... Uh, I can go and sleep with people, tell them no commitments up front. Yeah, you know, that's that's the kind of an honest seducer I was thinking about. It's uh, probably not the best, not the most efficient way to seduce people. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? Okay, so anyway, we gain a Duchy of Steiermark. Gain fame. Gain uh, vassals. Duke Ottokar becomes our vassal. And we get a bunch of counts as our vessels, so yeah, let's enforce demands. So be it. So, in this war, we basically got all uh, all this territory as our, uh, you know, vessels. So, uh, now we should have more vessels, and some of them hate our guts. For example, this guy here, Count Pilgrim. They all want a seat on a council. For sure. For sure. Count Ottokar is a previous uh, Duke of uh, Steiermark. So he is like... Yeah, he does not like us a lot. But he is definitely a powerful vassal. So we should probably try to, you know... Uh, maybe change some posi positions in the council. So, for example, Count, Ot Count Ottokar yeah, is uh, kind of decent at diplomacy, so he could, like, actually, you know, be our uh, chancellor. Count Atso. Yeah, but, like, on the council plus 10, so this will be minus 30. Should be okay. Should be okay. Like, I mean, he's trusting and he's not a powerful vassal, so. Should be fine, maybe. We could. Uh, but he's a much better marshal, actually. But this guy is a powerful vassal, so I'd like to keep him as my marshal. Uh, I don't want a disloyal. <clears throat> Spy master, so probably not. Like Count Ottokar is, is a great guy. You know he's good at everything. Let's uh, yeah, let's give him a chancellor position, and then uh, he can. Uh, for now, let's go up to like and to set him up to domestic affairs. Uh, so uh, Stuart, uh, do we have a? This guy, why do you hate me? You want to sit on my council, and we were in offensive war. So this will give me like plus 50, still not enough. Yeah. Okay, yeah, these powerful vassals are not, not great. Could get another steward, but not with four stewardship. You could be my steward. 
Yeah, like this, guys, they do not like us, but this will improve over time as soon as, uh, you know, offensive war and short range penalties go away. They will like us more. And, you know, improving, like, Count Ottokar working on domestic affairs, he can just go and uh, tell himself how much he uh, likes me now. So, for now, let's uh, disband this army and re-erase, because now we have uh, far more levies and we could get another man-at-arms regiment. Would definitely love to get some siege guys, so let's take a look. Manganels are just a tiny bit more expensive than onagers, but are much better, like twice as good at uh, giving us the siege progress, so yeah, let's go get some manganels. Well, we're at it, and we ran out of money, as easy as that. So, let's take a look at this war. So, these are some offensive wars, my leash wars, basically. Uh, Holy War for County of Vernavia and Polabia and Slavyanskan uprisings. Like, I'm not concerned with this two, but this one, though. That's a uh, Mycian de Jure war for the county of Cottbus, declared on my ally. So, uh, Duke Dedo is my ally. He called me in on this one. And aggressor is uh, this guy, Dutch of Mycian, and he called in uh, Dutch of Bavaria. Okay. So, and the war goal is... Uh, what exactly? County of Cottbus. This one here. Okay. So again, if we lose this war, it's not a big deal. But, well, we can get uh, quite a lot of prestige and stuff if we help our ally win. So let's wait for our levies to return home. And then we re-raise our troops and go to war. And try to, you know, help our ally win this war. Okay, so ally joined some wars. Okay, so we have even more allies now. We have uh, Duke of Holland and Prince Bishop of uh, Münster. Okay, good stuff. So, uh, how are we doing number wise? Like, actually, our uh, maximum capacity is stronger. <clears throat> like, you can see, we currently have like 2600 out of 3700. That's mostly us. We should get up to form, so that's why I currently do not have army raised. I'm letting them uh, replenish and recuperate and basically um, return home and regroup and be raised again. Okay, Beans Lament. Okay, we need those resources. That's my uh, spy master. Okay. Heated argument between my counselors. Okay. Representative from Wien, basically my mayor. Okay, reads me with tired eyes. Eyes. Okay. Um. So I can get some uh, intrigue lifestyle experience, but also some stress. We can get abandoned villages just for one year, and then we get increased levies and some prestige. Yeah. What is one village in the grand scheme of things? Exactly. So again, uh, we can uh, control left click on our realm to see divided into our direct vassals. So we have a bunch of uh, counts as our vassals. Uh, are we a Duke of uh, Steiermark as well? Yes, we are. Okay. So I would definitely love to have more uh, holdings in my personal domain. Uh, and not in my vessels. Hopefully, you know, some of my vessels, they will, uh, I don't know, like, say, uh, do something wrong and bad, and then, uh, you know, we could imprison them, revoke their titles, so we are up to limited crown authority, so we can revoke titles right now. It is possible. Uh, can we revoke some... so... 
can actually and should uh, ransom some prisoners. So, uh, yeah, ransom uh, your heir. Faction created against you. Okay, let's take a look at the faction screen then. So, uh, two members. Count Ottokar and Count Crescencio. I should probably sway Count Ottokar, to be honest with you. Like, swaying the Pope is all nice and well. Can we just, I don't know, like, say... Attempt to murder our wife? Nah, not really. Can we divorce her? Nah, not really. Well, it is what it is then. Like, it's uh, search for secrets, fabricate claims on them. Uh, fabricate claims. This will help because... Uh, because I have a bunch of claims. So, for example... Uh, <coughs> say, County of Freistadt. So, can I, uh, like, revoke title? Uh, County of Freistadt. I have a claim. So, uh, I will not be viewed as a tyrant. Okay, so he'll hate me. He's my marshals. Probably not him, but... Might accept 80%. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that helps. That helps. So let's take a look at our other claims. So we have... Uh, again, uh, preferably in our Duchy of Austria. Uh, so, uh, that's a Prince Bishopric. Hmm, okay. Could we revoke uh, the title from you? Wrong holding type. Yeah, okay, makes sense. Uh, County of uh, Krems. County of Amstetten. Let's take a look at County of Krems. So, you're my vassal and knight. If I were to revoke a title. Uh, County of Krems. He might accept, like, basically 53%. The better the opinion, the more chance that he will accept. Okay. So I do have all these claims, but currently I do not have the military strength, I really need to replenish and recuperate, so probably we shall do it. Uh, basically, um, and you're like, yeah, you're like, if I were to revoke your county of Amstetten, he's like, no dude, not at all. Could get some hooks on them. Uh, should we probably find secrets in uh, our own... Uh, Court. You know, just try to find some secrets and uh, maybe we get some hooks and then we can uh, revoke the titles by, you know, just getting some hooks. Or we can uh, actually advance in our uh, intrigue lifestyle and then... Uh, Where's that? Fabricate... Fabricate... Yeah, exactly. Fabricate hook... Fabricate hooks, and then, uh, you know, just... Fabricate some dirt on them. And then use... Use it to... Revoke the titles. Would be nice. So this faction... Okay, there are like a lot of people in this faction right now. That's no good. Can we expand our mana arms? We can. Let's go with, um, say, armored footmen this time. Oh, interface is bugging out on me again. I don't know why, not really sure. Yeah, let's get some more uh, men at arms. So, our realm is not stable. Like, we uh, definitely increased it, but now we need to stabilize, you know. Get more happy vessels, uh, replenish our troops and such. Oh! Chancellor fails to handle vessels? Come on, dude! How come? 
So our current personal scheme is uh, to sway basically our uh, Chancellor. Maybe that's why he botched the relations because you know he hates us. He wants us to fail miserably. Uncool, dude. Uncool. Endless hearings. Okay. Some inconsequential matter brought to my attention in court. So, my two counts, my steward and my, well, vessel. Uh, waste my time with a petty dispute. Okay. I cannot shake the feeling that they are largely overestimating the severity of a situation to feed their own ego. Okay, so... I'm honest, I'm diligent, so... Uh, basically, I uh, have to, you know, let me hear this one more time. And then we can get a weak hook. Okay. Okay, so uh, let's take a look. Your count of Hallstatt, your count of Bitten. But I believe that both of them are not part of Duchy of Austria. So, uh, County of Hallstatt is the Jure part of Salzburg, while um, County of Bitten is the Jure part of uh, Duchy of Steiermark. I mean, Dutch of Steiermark is okay. So, can we use a weak hook to basically revoke the count of Bitten from a dude of Bitten? So, I get a weak hook on Count Egbert of Bitten. Let's take a look at this. So, uh, can I revoke a title, Count of Bitten, use a hook? So, uh, this is an act of tyranny, because I do not have a claim. Makes sense. So, uh, no. But getting a hook is good. So this is a temporary weak hook for 10 years. Maybe we can uh, use it later, you know? Maybe. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay, and you, Burke. So let's go with uh, Truth is Relative. Unlock. And then uh, we shall fabricate a hook on, uh, uh, on some guy that we have a claim on. So Krems, Reichstadt, or Amstetten. So you're just Vessel and Knight. You're my Vessel. But at least you don't hate me. You're my marshal, okay? You hate my guts. I mean, uh, you're more likely to give up cramps. So let's uh, fabricate a hook on you. <sighs> Come on, like even fabricating hook gives me stress because I'm honest. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, well. I guess we'll have to suffer some uh, stress. Yeah, being honest skimmer, it just does not work out, does it? Well, uh, yeah. Like, honest skimmer, sure. So let's take a look at our faction. There's still, like, uh, discontent is rising. Military power is... yeah, it is above threshold. So these guys are unhappy. Not all of them are unhappy. Like, I do have a weak hook on you, can I... Uh, can I force you out of the faction because I have a weak hook on you? Is it possible? Uh... Grand titles, revoke title, modify feudal contract. Oh, smuggling green, come on. So, I mean, dude, I have a weak hook on you. 
How come I cannot force you out of the faction? Like, honestly... Why? Why can't I? Huh? Yeah, Liberty Faction only seeks to lower Crown Authority, so it's not like a big deal, it's not an independence faction, it's just a liberty, they want uh, to have more liberties, but not uh, more, uh, you know, not be independent from my rule. So, it's okay, I guess. Uh, okay, Strong Hook on Duchess Adelheid? Nah. Nah, let's just improve relations with Duchess of Adelheid. So we are still swaying our Chancellor. Read the description below about factions. Prevent a vessel uh, from joining a faction. Uh, strong hook. Okay, so I need a strong hook. Okay, I have only a weak hook. I could though use, you know, a weak hook to modify a feudal contract, I believe. So use a hook and, uh, you know, give me more money. Though, nah, this will lower the opinion. Lowering opinion is bad. Uh, can we, I don't know, like, sweeten the deal? Not really. So, never mind, I need his opinion to stay uh, high. You know, reading the descriptions is such good advice. It's just that reading is sometimes hard. If you know what I mean. So, okay, let's uh, raise our armies and, uh, you know, go and fight the war. Our uh, ally, well, they helped us win the war. Probably it's fair for, you know, our honest, diligent personality to help our ally as well in uh, their uh, strife. We are currently winning this uh, war. We have some uh, prisoners, occupations, we win battles, we hold the objective. Objective being uh, Count uh, of uh, Cottbus. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's siege down Barony of Passau. You know, just help our allies what we can. I mean, we do have Manganels, so uh, Count Ottokar not sweet. We shall make another attempt. Well, let us. Yeah, Manganels are really helping. Like, daily siege progress 1.6 base is so much better than 1.0 base. And we already have uh, sickness spreading in the garrison. That helps us. So let's take a look. Uh, do we have any grandchildren already? Nah, uh, not yet. Maybe later. Okay. Adalbert, my son, my ward, staying in bed to avoid facing the bully. I mean, you're my second son. I don't care that much, so... Yeah, who has? Then we are still finding secrets. We are trying to fabricate a hook on the Count Atzo Krems to get, you know, his uh, county into our uh, domain. Because, like, yeah, we are severely under our uh, domain limit. We need more uh, power base. Uh, discontent is rising. They're like, yeah, they're strong and powerful. Let's try to find some secrets. I mean, actually, this Liberty Faction is really bad. Because uh, with uh, lowering our Crown Authority, we will not be able to retract, uh, like, uh, The title. Can we do anything, like literally anything, to stop these people from uh, 
Nah, not really. They're like militarily strong and such, so. Guess we'll have to just let it be or something. Okay, we won the war. And, uh, yeah. So my war contribution score is. Like, wow, 48%, huh? So we get uh, quite a lot of prestige and opinion out of the deal. It's good to see. So now we're uh, far more prestigious. Advice fabricating claims. Okay, so this is a suggestion, reactive advice thingy. Uh, can declare war without a casus belli. Uh, most common sources of claims. Sometimes it's hard to get a claim. That's the where fabricated claims come in. Basically, you can send your court chaplain to fabricate some claims. But I mean, uh, we have some uh, internal problems in uh, like our own realm. So currently, uh, I feel I'm more into ally than. Uh, I don't think they would want to, but maybe. So you. Do you want to arrange marriage with, uh, say, um... Uh... What? Don't I have a daughter? Nah, nah, nah. Wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's try once again. So, vessel. Count Otakon. Uh, arrange marriage. So, uh... No valid characters found, huh? What? Oh, it's uh, yeah, reset to defaults. Exactly. Yeah, I had some filters on. So, for example, um, my daughter to say your son. Yeah, he will accept matrilineal. No. Uh, my daughter to his son. I guess it's okay. I guess it is okay, and we'll get the line. So let's uh, send the proposal. Yeah. Excellent. So let's take a look at uh, factions and no factions. Okay. Yeah, that was a good advice. Thank you. Like I mean, we had to ally our vessel, but I mean, at least he is uh, my ally right now. So there's that. And yeah, my daughter. I need more babies, I guess. Yeah, my wife is 34 years old. No one will accept. Murdering her. Yeah, like... Low chance, as well as stress. So yeah, let's disband armies. This, ar this holy war for County of Fernabi is still like... Uh, HRE war against Venetia. Venetia. So it's fine. Uh, so who can we cast our uh, vote for? So electors are uh, Prince of Mainz, Duke of Bohemia, Duke of Angria, Princess Adelheid of Frankfurt, who is voting for me because. Because reasons? And then uh, Prince of Coburg, Prince of Salzburg. Okay. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's vote for ourselves. I guess. Can we uh, vote for ourselves? Uh, no, 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 let's get back to the Holy Roman Empire. Election. So, yeah, cast a vote for myself. Because, well, why not? I mean, there are a whole two people voting for me. So, yeah, my candidate is me. Sure, whatever. 
So people are voting for a uh, Duke of Upper Lorraine. As well as for me. So, yeah, Duke Ratislav has a voting power of 2 because he's an influential vassal. And Emperor has a voting power of 3 because, you know, he's Emperor, I guess. I have a vote strength of just 1, I believe, so it's like, yeah, I mean, vote for me, I guess. Anyway, we'd like to... Uh, Enlarge our domain, increase our incomes and stuff. So let's take a look at the uh, buildings, especially Dutch specific ones. So uh, they give like huge uh, realm wide bonuses. And yeah, there's also this uh, development thingy that we should also. take care of. So let's take a look at our uh, steward. So he's uh, giving domain taxes. So being developed. Development measure of the local infrastructure and technological advancement. Tooltip the scales. Uh, scales. Which scales? Development. Uh, increases the levies, taxes and supply limit. Um, okay, so development levies and taxes increases by 5%. It's growing slowly, but not much. And it's farmlands, which is good, so uh, we could actually uh, send uh, our steward to increase development in Beam. Just, you know, play the long game. And reducing corruption is always good. Uh, okay, failed uh, to find any secrets. Well, uh, yeah. Let's improve relations with our uh, spy master. Why not? It's always good. We are still swaying our steward, uh, chancellor. Our opinion with Stuart will increase in time. Council invitation. Oh! Oh! Uh, Emperor Heinrich wants us to be on his uh, council. In election window, scales show elector preferences. It's still typable. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. I, uh, I remember the swing. Yeah, I just uh, could not find where this. Like, I've seen this tooltip before. So, election scales, yeah. He's not my child. Yeah, I'm not your child, dude. Uh, Duke Ernst is evil. I mean, come on, it's like, he's okay, isn't he? He's evil. I dislike him. Yeah, people don't like me. They think I'm evil. I don't know why. So... Chancellor of the Holy Roman Empire. So the whole Holy Roman Empire will now have a 10 diplomacy chancellor. Kudos to me, I guess. Uh, it should give me more, uh, yeah, more prestige. Far more prestige. Like, wow, there's a whole free prestige per month. That's wow. That's, that's huge. Okay, task finished. We're still fabricating a hook on uh, Count Atta. So if I were to revoke a Count of Krems, he's like, yeah, might accept, but not really. So we do have a hook on you, but we do not have a claim on you, so uh, yeah. This will uh, give us a tyranny penalty.
And then we also have claims on uh, County of Amstetten and County of Reichstadt. So, uh, you're uh, my vassal and knight. Can I revoke your title, maybe? Uh, I have a claim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 56%. Should I should I just try it? If Count Richard declines, declines, he will rise up in rebellion with other disgruntled vassals. Like, what do you exactly mean by other disgruntled vassals? Like, who will rise up in rebellion? Who will not? I don't know. I I don't know. Is this a risk I'm willing to take? Maybe if I get more men at arms. Uh, let's get some pikemen added to the mix. Faction created against you. What? Again? Again? Count of Hallstatt and Count of Leibniz. Okay, well, for now they're too weak to send an ultimatum, and we're still improving our military might. Should build some more economy buildings in our domain, for sure. Faction rebels. Oh, so, uh, uh, yeah, the whole faction will rise up now, so I should have done it before the faction emerged. Okay, I see. Greetings, my sensible leech. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's improve relations with our wife, I guess. I don't know. Faction created against emperor. Oh, that's like just some populists. It's not a big deal. So we could get some minor building. Just get more uh, tax out of the deal. So we can have some more. Levies, some more farms and fields. We can preview the whole uh, building tree, so uh, for example, farms and fields, they will give us not only tax in the end, but also, you know, like supply limit, level reinforcement rate, uh, flat tax bonus on a whole holding. Okay, we won the war, good stuff, development growth. So, just some minor bonuses. Pastoral lands, they give us both uh, tax and supply limit. Uh, tax and levies, sorry. I meant tax and levies. Yeah, I mean, like, getting more monies is always good. Getting more levies, levies is, um, like, you do not want to have too many levies in your army compared to, say, your uh, knights and men-at-arms because this will reduce your army quality. So you can save... Yeah, like, yeah, you can uh, employ a human wave offensive doctrine, you know, and just send wave after wave of your peasants, so okay, call to war, uh, send wave after wave of your peasants to the enemy and they will die gloriously for your country but will it win you the war maybe maybe not so I think like men at arms they cost you money so actually you know economy building wise you want to balance out both your levy producing buildings and uh, well gold producing buildings and that's an uh, interesting thing to think about. Not mentioning that you always spend money on, I don't know, some events, pilgrimages, like hunts, gatherings, everything. Okay, call to war. Uh huh. As an attacker, allows its claim on Dutch of Meissen. Dutch of Meissen, woo. Okay. And uh, I guess let's go. Let's go and help our loyal ally helped us uh, so much in the last war. So 
So I have joined the war and uh, let's march up yeah, to Barony of Chep. Where's my army at? And yeah, let's go to Barony of Chep. Okay, Duke of Bavaria, so let's go to Bavaria instead because it is closer and we... Quality doesn't matter in combat, it's purely for the player. Only time it matters if you're limited by combat width. More levels you have, less damage men at arms receive. Okay. But still, you want to have at least some men at arms, you know, to get those uh, siege bonuses and uh, just to fight better. And to get men at arms, you need monies, right? And if you, like, are competing for a building slot between a building that produces money and a building that produces levies, then it will uh, kind of depend on your overall situation with your men at arms. Like, isn't an army of uh, pure men at arms always better than an army of uh, peasants? Uh, yeah, no reason we should not be friends instead. Okay, task finished. Yeah, let's still uh, try to find some secrets. I honestly do not believe that uh, um, our uh, Subjects and courtiers do not have any secrets. Okay, so uh, courtiers can take vows. Okay. Communion, seek indulgences, pay gold in exchange for piety. Okay, seek indulgences to gain forgiveness. And excommunications, armed pilgrimages. Okay, holy wars. Yeah, great holy wars. Our fervor is currently like crap. But that's fine, like Catholicism is a huge religion, so... So basically we do not get uh, any thingies considering, you know, like getting some additional piety or opinion from, I don't know, some gatherings or hunts or whatever. Okay. Yeah, that's Catholicism for you. We are currently spending money, so our men at arms are gained a favor hook on... Uh, Duke Otto. Duke Otto of Bavaria? I get a favor hook because reasons? Okay. So, right here we are uh, sitting down uh, land heresy lollards in Moray. Okay, Marie is uh, like here. Huh? Touch of Marie. Oh, it's like so Scotland. Okay. Uh, nah, I don't want to convert to a Lollard. What kind of mockery is this? Without Levis, more men at arms die, more money to replenish. Hard kept. Um. Yeah, yeah, just finding the balance. Okay, so we are currently losing money due to low taxes. Oh, I assume we have, uh, yeah, we have uh, Duke Paul, House Orkney, okay. So we have a heresy now. Basically, it's just in uh, Scotland, but it will spread. Okay, it's spreading right now. Intrigue perk available. Can we switch uh, lifestyle already? So, new perk. Let's take a look. Digging for dirt, maybe? Yeah, let's go digging for dirt. But anyway, I wanted to switch uh, the focus. Can I do it like right now, yeah, I believe I can. So we can go with uh, golden obligations. Well, at least you know, go go for uh, uh, with stewardship for uh, golden obligations and well, making more money. Let's take a look at our character. So we are kind of poor on everything. Ah, uh, yeah, we're not 
not a great character. But I would definitely like to get more money out of the deal. So if I... I yeah, am men at arms maintenance, cell titles, avaricious is like... It's okay, but cult and obligations, you know, considering we have some uh, serious hooks on people. Yeah, it could help. Well, focus will give us more flat money. Domain focus will give us more stewardship. Duty focus. Some better opinion from courtier and guest. Enemy agent acceptance. And stewardship. So, does stewardship uh, give us a um, flat uh, bonus on domain taxes? Yeah, but only on domain. Okay, not uh, not the whole like realm taxes, right? So, basically, I want just flat out more money. So let's go with wealth. Let's go with wealth focus, and we immediately lose like 0.6 less uh, monies. Okay, no, it's not ducats. Should I call it just monies or gold or whatever? Is it like, is there, yeah, it's gold. Okay. Okay, so we get some money from the successful siege. That's good. This will uh, hold us in the war for a couple of years more. And uh, yeah, we. Let's take a look at this war yet again. So we are at war with. Uh, Duke of Meissen and Duke of Bavaria. So we are sieged down uh, Duke of Bavaria's castle. Let's go siege down... Um... Okay, we are running out of supplies right now. So let's go and replenish first and then go back to uh, Duke of Meissen. Yep. So siege is won, prisoners taken. Okay, we captured Count and his sister. Uh, can we, uh, like, ransom you? Yeah, 50 ducats. A good deal. Uh, can we ransom you as well? Yay! Uh, Adalberon, no reason we should not be friends. You know, just even flat increase of opinion with everyone uh, we, like, do not find any secrets on. It's still good enough. Okay, so we're still uh, just staying in place and uh, resupplying, replenishing. Prisoners released, what? Not, not released, more like ransomed, you know? That's still okay. Uh, let's wait one more month and then we march to war in any friendly territory? Yeah, problem is, like, this is enemy territory, this is enemy territory, so I could replenish technically in, say, Naumberg or Perenne or Cottbus, but... To siege down this barony of Chap, I will need some... What? Oh, how dare he? He does not want me to be his chancellor anymore. That's... Disappointing. Like, now I'm getting far less prestige. So let's take a look at our renown, actually. And uh, so we have one duke and one count in our dynasty. Uh, do we have any dynasty perks? Uh, now nah, let's get back to dynasty. Dynasty? Yeah. So, uh, no. Answer is no, we do not have any perks, uh, like Dynasty Legacies, sorry, not perks, Legacies, yeah, this would be the correct term. Uh, we do not have any right now. Uh, well, okay. And we're not getting any soon, so that's okay. Uh, yeah, up to 200, good enough, let's go to Barony of Chap. And hopefully siege it down. Let's take a look at our development in Beam. So it's growing by 2.3 per month. So we are getting one development point in, say, uh, 
four years. Well, uh, I mean, it's a long-term investment for sure, but uh, I think it's worth it. It's just, you know, a flat-out bonus to your uh, taxes and levy. So if you're, like, planning to keep this land in your domain for uh, ever, then uh, why not get it? Okay, so looks like there will be some minor battle with some just some knights. Just surround them and kill them, murder them. Yeah, some knights, some uh, light footmen at arms. Uh, okay, let's improve our relations with our wife. And I should probably actually, you know, uh, send him to find secrets in the. Uh, yeah, Count Ottokar Court. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it like this. And we sweet Count Ottokar. So Count Ottokar actually loves us. So probably we should instead dig for secrets in, uh, say, uh, this guy here. Yeah, so let's, uh, let's instead send our... Uh, Spymaster to find secrets in Amstead. And when you are uh, still uh, working on domestic affairs, I mean, it's kind of balanced, so let's go to uh, international affairs instead. You need more legitimized bastards, they uh, 5 renown? L you mean they increase renown? I guess. Yeah, maybe. I need a new wife. That's what I need. But like, I cannot divor divorce her, I cannot like, murder her. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. Naked people, naked people. Okay. Troop of jugglers. Oh yes, troop of jugglers and naked people. Okay, so at uh, that uh, count of crimes, we're fabricating hooks on him to revoke the thingy. So uh, yeah, we spend some prestige to get a strong hook on count Atso. So yeah, send in the entertainers, and now we should be able. To revoke title, Count of Krems, use a hook, we'll accept. Ah yeah, he will hate us, but he will just be, you know, a, a, a knight. So, you know, a troop of jugglers, a naked person, and then you get a county. It is what it is. So, yeah, he loses opinion. He grows closer to forming a rivalry with me. Control level decreases, so we'll have to, you know, increase our control over this county. But yeah, let's revoke the title. And just like that, we gain a county of Krems. So control is only at 55, so let's go and increase control in county of Krems with our marshal. And, uh, yeah, should we get uh, <clears throat> more uh, land? I guess we should. So, Sankt Pollen. The top holding is Temple. So, I'm not that interested in Prince Bishopric of Sankt Pollen right now, but these two guys? Oh, yes. So, uh, Again, fabricating a hook on this guy will uh, will gain me some stress because I'm honest. Let's just try to find some dirt, you know, find some secrets. Can we murder our wife? No, because we're honest, we cannot. Like, being an honest schemer, you know, sucks. Like, no, seriously, it sucks. Count Eckberg of Pitten. Yeah, we should probably modify his contract now that he likes us more. So yeah, let's go and modify a uh, feudal contract. Give me more monies. Use a hook. And... 
Yeah. Modify. Let's go. And achievement unlocked. Fine print. Of course. We can ransom a mayor. So yeah, let's uh, probably ransom a mayor. 30 gold. That's... Uh, it's golden. See what I did there? Like, golden. You know. I can ask my head of fate for gold? Hmm, nah. I'm okay. Ah. <sighs> Powerful vassal demands council position. So you could be my. Uh, like you cannot be my spy master, and I don't have. Like, everyone else is already powerful on a council, so it's like. Eh. Um, what we could. Like, no, you're even worse at stewardship than you are, like. Uh huh. I'm pretty sure that Count Ottokar is a decent spy master, and now that he likes us, yeah, let's uh, let's give him a spy master position, and then instead of Mayor Berold, we can have a uh, Count Richter as our uh, chancellor. Yeah. Yeah, this is better. Better now. Okay, I like. I like it. I like it. So, low county control in Krems. Well, I mean, you can afford some stress. You'll get a coping mechanism. Yeah, I can shout at people or visit a brothel and get some STDs. Or, like, forget all my troubles and drink a lot of wine and then stumble and die. Yeah, like, maybe it's better not to get some stress. I mean, I can afford some stress for sure. But, like, murder scheme, uh, my wife is like 37% success chance, that's not a lot. I would better use it on, uh, to fabricate some hooks on people. So, you are my martial vessel and knight. You're quite good at your job, you're my chancellor, so I'm trying to, you know, get some land off uh, my <laughs> trusted advisors. Yeah, let's go and... Uh, Actually, fabricate a hook on our uh, marshal. 34% chance? Oh, you're paranoid, huh? Okay. Like, can we then, uh, I don't know, like, fabricate a hook on you? Yeah, I can. So let's fabricate a hook on our uh, chancellor. And then uh, dig for dirt at our uh, marshal instead. Good stuff, so uh, some victory is won, got some prestige out of the deal. And we are uh, still sieging down Barony of Cheb. Adalbert comes of age. Okay, my second son. Uh, okay, he gains a trade fortune builder. Uh, yeah, that's uh, quite good. We grow up fast, so let's take a look at uh, Adalbert. So you, my son. Uh, maybe some in some time in the future you will get some land or something. You know, like maybe I get some spare land to give you. Uh, but for now, I'm mostly interested in... Uh, just, uh, you know, increasing my uh, dynasty, like getting some uh, congenital uh, traits in. Uh... Yeah, like, Fecund is okay. Comely is okay as well. So, yeah, I actually, I think uh, this Danish woman from a house Trugot. Callous, gregarious, arrogant. She's comely at least. So that's okay. Yeah, let's uh, let's send a proposal. Excellent. So do we have any grandchildren now? Yes we do. We do have a little grandson. Nice. Nice. It's good to see. 
Okay, we <coughs> finally siege down Chubb. Let's go occupy Reichenbach. We have the famous waterfall. Looks like we're handily winning this uh, war against uh, Meissen and Bavaria. Good to see. So, uh, like, we are the Yuri. Both Steiermark and uh, Austria is the Euro part of the Kingdom of Bavaria. We need 22 counties in the Kingdom of Bavaria to create a title, so. But, uh, it would be nice, it would be nice to get, you know, like, get maybe something into Corinth there. Salzburg? Salzburg looks like a prime target. Educate grandson too? Uh, yeah. Probably, yeah, maybe that's a good idea. So let's um, educate child. Uh, myself, yeah. Uh, send proposal. So let's take a look at our grandson. He is, he is a genius grandson. Oh yes, yes. Let's educate this little genius ourselves. Loss of control. Count of Vin. Chen oh. Oh, like... My steward lost some control over Veen. That's uh it's not great to say the least. But it's acceptable, we're still like uh positive money wise. Yeah, genius grandson is great. Uh, what else? What else do we want to do? Maybe we want to fabricate some flames on uh, Salzburg. Let's take a look at this uh, Prince Archbishopric of uh, Salzburg. Genius, dead man for sure. Well, we'll see. We'll see. So, uh, this is Prince Archbishopric of uh, Salzburg. This is a duchy title. We have a couple of counties inside our realm. And basically just getting one other... Uh, County will uh, allow us to usurp realm, so we basically need just one uh, claim on, say, uh, Sch Schaumberg or uh, Berchtesgaden. Let's uh, try to fabricate a claim on the uh, county of uh, Schaumberg. Yeah. And then, uh, like, we could go to war with uh, this prince bishop, crush him, get Schaumberg. Deserve the title, and then get some, uh, you know, do your claims on the whole uh, Duchy of Salzburg. And then this will be great. Like, yeah, like, problem with um, having several duchies at the same time is, of course, that with our current succession laws, we're gonna lose them upon succession. Which is not great. Um, so we're still in early medieval innovations, high medieval. Uh, yeah, we need at least half of early medieval to go to high medieval era. Do we get any. So, Karl Chalohead is, uh, of course, Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire. He is currently. Uh, Fascinated by the Arct Saddles. Okay. Armored Horseman as Men at Arms. So good. Burrs. Okay. The Euro Dutch CBs. Uh, how, like, do I get a better? Enact with partition law, but partition is not good. Not good for stabilizing your realm. I mean, I know I get prim primogeniture in uh, later medieval era, but <coughs> that's uh, kind of far away. Can we get any better like uh, laws? So we could get feudal elective. 
this might help us. Like, feudal elective is better than confederate partition, but... This will require a lot of prestige to change. Like, I'm trying to just, you know, find out how to... Okay. Count Engelbert, Spy Master Uta, get a strong hook on Uta? No, I need a strong hook on uh, Count himself, not a, not some random uh, Spy Master. Partition is still better. Better than what? Partition is better than Confederate Partition? Uh, why? Because new titles may be created for younger heirs. Um, so let's take a look at partition. Titles will be divided equally. So basically in confederate partition titles can be created automatically. While here... Like... Uh, okay, okay, I, I see, I see. So here you can at least try to... Like, here you can still uh, try to avoid the splintering of your realm by destroying titles, while in a, in a confederate partition it does not help, as the titles will be created for your younger children automatically. I assume this is the deal here, why the... Partition is better. But still, like... I mean, your... Um, your children will uh, get... Uh, should probably stop swaying counter Count Otakar. I mean, he is like... He likes me well enough. Uh, could sway my steward. Could sway the head of fate. Let's try uh, swaying the Pope. Hey, Pope! Could you like me more? Confederate creates more duchies. Yeah, I assumed that like, cre creating duchies could be really devastating. Still though, <coughs> like uh, all your uh, children will get claims on your titles, so you can always, you know, reunite your lands back and this will be easier for you. Since you like, you know, you already have all the claims. But yeah, yeah, this is not a game about unrestricted lobbying, I guess. Well, uh, I mean, it's totally fine by me. Probably, maybe. I want to be a king of Bavaria. Victory! Okay, so we get some, uh, yeah, we get 62 prestige out of the deal, let's disband all armies and be done with the whole thing. So we are still fabricating claim on uh, uh, Schaumberg, we are uh, still, uh, yeah, trying to dig some dirt and fabricate hooks. This will take some time. Adding feudal elective only works for primary title, it doesn't affect the rest of the domain, they still follow confederate. Um, okay. So, uh, I mean, how do you, like, so I have this secondary title, but I can add laws to them as well. So I can, uh, like, change succession laws for my secondary titles as well, can, can't I? Basically, you want to have one uh, top level title, I assume, if you want to keep your realm in uh, one hand, and basically the best uh, way to do it is to, you know, become king. Uh, Adelheid comes of age. Okay. Uh, my daughter, who is uh, betrothed to uh, Adalbero Otakarian, son of Count Otakar, yeah. Uh, she is a charismatic negotiator, humble, ambitious, diligent, great girl. They grow up fast. Betroft can marry. 
Yep. Basically marrying into my vessel just to, you know, have an alliance with him and uh, it will be a different election. Yeah, makes sense because, you know, they're different titles, so you will have to win both elections at once. Let's take a look at the rest of the world. Uh, everything seems pretty stable for now. Yeah, not much has changed. I mean, we have only pl played for like 8 years or something. So it's uh, totally understandable. But this, uh, you know, internal HRE rumblings and wars are always fun. So we shall try to become the Kingdom of Bavaria, but it's a huge kingdom. Like, I mean, it's honestly one, like, unlike Bohemia or, say, I don't know, Wallachia or Moldavia, Bavaria is a huge kingdom. And we'll have to get quite a lot of uh, counties there. Uh, okay. Uncover no, 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 no. Let's let's keep it up. Let's keep it up. So we are fabricating on the uh, count Richard, and we are digging up dirt for count Engelbert, just to be able to, you know, uh, revoke the will titles and uh, yeah, make them part of uh, my domain. So County of Freistadt, like 69%. Now, new acquisitions, okay. During the daily management, learned of several opportunities. Each opportunity has great potential. I can pursue only one, so I should, uh, yeah. You gain a a weak hook on Count Hubert. Who is Count Hubert? Like some random guy somewhere? <clears throat> okay. Again, 100 ducats or learning challenge. Okay. Uh, I could get some stewardship and learning or just some stewardship. Well, I mean. Uh, we need the money, so yeah, let's go get some money. And we should build some buildings, say in uh, Vim. No more money buildings, or maybe Levis buildings. So, uh, do we have a faction? We do. And yeah, <clears throat> their military. Faction is currently like non military power is non zero to say the least. Okay then. So we should probably build like start a building in Vim. Let's maybe go with a pastoral land to get more ladies as well. Yeah, start building. And then we could probably expand our men at arms. So, uh, increasing. Like, what does increasing mangonels size do? Like, does it increase the siege progress bonus or what? I'm, 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 I'm not sure. Um, for now, uh, we could create another men at arms regiment of light horsemen. Yeah, let's do that. I mean, light horsemen are great for pursuing, and you want a healthy mix and match. Unless you want to, of course, min-max everything and, like, find some imbalanced uh, solutions. But, well, we are not uh, some British channel with some British humor. We are honest people here. So, uh, yeah, we're doing what we can. Um, so currently, like, the whole, um, maximum maintenance will be, like, minus 10. Uh, so we are currently paying 2 ducats per month for unraised men at arms. And maximum we pay, like, minus 10, so that's minus 8. 
we will be like in negative balance during the war. Pope Alexander is swayed. That's good to see. Can we divorce our wife now? Almost. Almost. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Spouse aids in my stewardship studies. Oh, thanks. But I need a new wife. We can demand payment for hooks, so let's take a look at our intrigue, hooks and secrets. Uh, I have hooks on some uh, people. So I have a hook on Duke of Bavaria. Can we demand payment uh, for a hook? Yeah, just give me monies. And uh, you here? Or just someone? Uh, okay. Do not have enough gold. That's my daughter. Okay, not enough gold. I uh, adjust my grandson, sons, some courtiers. Probably again, not enough gold. Uh, you? No. Well, uh, anyway, we earn some money, like 50 ducats from the deal. That's kind of good enough. So can we build maybe something in Hohenau? Could get uh, hunting grounds, but it's like meh. Military camps. I mean, uh, maybe getting more, uh, you know, getting more levies out of the deal. Can we construct a new holding? Yeah, we can. It's just it costs 600. Uh, Decades. Oh, uh, never mind. A city or a temple cost 500 instead. Okay. So we have uh, innovation, city planning. So we can, uh, yeah, can basically get more holdings. I mean, growing toll uh, is and was always a very valid strategy in uh, CK3. You know, a strong domain. Uh, yeah, could be like could really make a huge difference in the same sized realms, but with one having a strong domain. Uh, so what? A strong hook on count and well, no, no, no. I want a strong hook on count, not on the countess. Like I mean, yeah, countess could help us kill the count, but that's not the point here. Point here is to get some hooks on our vessels to, you know, safely retract their uh, titles, revoke titles. So, uh, again, 70% chance is, yeah, it's not good enough considering we have a, a faction. Currently they are too weak to send an ultimatum. War of, on Duke Semonlis? Oh, okay, Duke of Pomerania. Okay, we're expanding towards northeast. You know, we as a whole Holy Roman Empire, not we as a Duke of Austria. Still fabricating claims, building some buildings. Uh, I can declare war on Duke of Bavaria. <clears throat> Why would I? Nah, it's okay. Like I would prefer to declare war on uh, Prince Archbishop. Uh, Salzburg. So, okay, mm, as usual, not much going on. Still, uh, like, okay. Um, make the case, your uh, rightful lord of uh, Prince Bishopric of Schomburg. Like, what? Shouldn't it be like... Oh, uh, is it like Prince Bishopric because he's a Prince Archbishop? Decisions to reduce stress. Yeah, I should probably take a look. So, uh, this is just a barony and the top holding is a castle. So, yeah, this should be a barony of Schaumburg, not Prince Bishopric. 
Spend uh, 96 gold. See, done. And then, can we declare war on you? Like, you have no allies. I have a claim on Prince Bishop Rick of Schaumburg. This will cost me piety and uh, prestige as well, but we have both. Their military might is inferior. Actually, I believe we should be able to beat them uh, on our own, unless we hire some more mercenaries, but then we could, you know, call in our allies. So yeah, let's, uh, let's declare this war. Let's raise all armies. Wait for them to converge. Uh, let's check that this is the best commander we have. He is a military engineer. Great stuff. So let's go towards uh, Schaumburg. Our enemies have uh, 1400 uh, pinkies. Let's take a look at the decision. So we could invite some knights. Yeah, like, let's take a look at our knights. Are they good enough? Not really. Not really, to be honest with you. So we could actually honestly do with some better knights. Let's send the herald. And yeah, we need more money to call for fists, call for hunt, and all that stuff. So... Let's try to catch them in a Hallstatt. Okay. Looks like AI is not willing to fall for this trick here. And let's go and just siege down there now. Schaumburg. Because uh, this will give us a ticking war score. Okay, Albert. Treacherous villain, huh? 13 prowess. Yeah, you're kind of okay. So, 20 whole tickets. Okay. Well, I can afford to spend it for now, but... Probably we should not recruit another one. Uh, okay, better uh, better opinion. You gained 30 opinion of you. Yeah, it makes sense. I gained opinion of me, because I I'm great. Yeah, okay. And we gained some prestige, which is always good. Norman, no more. Okay, courageous King William of England. Oh, so you're King William now, huh? Okay, you used to be a duke, now you're a king. Kudos to you, William the Conqueror, not William the Bastard anymore. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at our siege progress. So we have 12 days uh, siege ticks. We have a uh, daily progress of 1.6, it's just great. Oh, come on, like... <sighs> No. Could you find some secrets on the Count himself and not like on uh, his wife, his children, his firemasters, his whatever? So this siege will be done uh, soon. Uh, looks like he is going towards Bean. Okay, now we should be able to... Divorce our wife. Yeah, 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 yeah. Divorce. Bye bye. Now we want a new wife. So uh, let's go and fight one. Um. So um. I mean, we could uh, marry just. For more children. Like we're still like 39 years old. 39 is okay. Uh, so we should yeah filter for inheritable uh, traits. Uh, I don't know like maybe someone uh, younger would fit me better. Like I know the game is trying to you know give the uh, spouses of the uh, like similar uh, age frame. Comely is good. Well, pretty is okay. Yeah, sure. 
Can we have someone from a, a house or something? Yeah, we can, but they're like you know, kind of old. Though, the you here. You're like member of house BC. You're like pretty, which is good. You're lustful. You're 17 years old. And... Yep, yep, yep. Send proposal. Okay, we lost our ally now. Which is not good. But... Mm, yeah, we need more children. We need more alliances. You know? So, uh, this uh, pretty seductress, lustful uh, woman, well, uh, I'm in. Yeah, let's, let's get prestige out of the deal. And we gained a level of fame, which is great. So, yeah. My dear wife, I want more... Babies! Mm, do we want her to be uh, like specific in some area? She could definitely help me with my diplomacy. But... Nah, it's okay. Let's just have a flat bonus to all our stats instead. So we siege down uh, this thing here. Let's go and dissuade our enemy from sieging down B. I doubt will be able to catch him there, but at least, you know, make him go away, like, shoo, shoo, go away from being. And we should be getting a <clears throat> ticking core score here. Yep, we are. Okay. Yeah, looks like we'll be able uh, to catch him in a uh, luggage store. And yeah, we have a better advantage, we have better army, well, kind of. Wars are expensive. Okay, my treasury replicating. emptying. Okay. Uh, collecting war taxes, nah, it's like... Martial challenge? Uh, Undersupplied armies... Yeah, let's try cut non-essential military expenditures. Okay, undersupplied armies. It's kind of bad and good at the same time. So. Count of Reichstadt was slain. Oh, my my. So, this is the... This guy here. So, now we have a Countess of Reichstadt. Can I revoke a title from you? I can, like 73%. Do we have any factions? We do. But, yeah, it's kind of, kind of good. So, we should appoint a new marshal. Well, probably not Prince Bishop of St. Bolton. But, Count Tucker could be nice. Count Crescencio. Yeah, why not? Leibniz. Yeah, 17 uh, Marshall. Good enough for sure. And we're still increasing uh, control in County of uh, Krems. And then, yeah, we won this battle, so let's go and uh, siege down see uh, if there are any upsides. This should give us enough war score to finish this war by, well, you know, winning it. Should get some more allies though, but again, for this I need more children, so you know, you, my her highly fertile wife. Uh, I don't need to sway O anymore. Uh, do I want to, like, seduce my wife? Like, romance is like... Maybe... Do I want to romance my wife? 
Yeah, probably. Like predicted success chances zero. Oh, compassionate dislikes callous like she's compassionate. Okay, I see. Uh, can I uh, like seduce her then? Yeah, I like. No romance, just pure seduction. Oh yes. Adelheid. Oh my, yeah, like my previous wife, you know. Yeah, like I've got a daughter now. Uh, yeah, may you grow to be strong and wise, my daughter. Yes. So I divorced a pregnant woman because political reasons. Yeah. Um, sure. Count Engelbert's court. Count Engelbert's court. Where are you working exactly? Yeah, okay, just dis disrupt, disrupt schemes. We are uh, fabricating a hook on Count Richard of Amstetten. <sighs> okay, military power is growing. Can send ultimatum soon. They want lower crown for it. Count it Hallstatt. Okay, let's take a look. Do you have a child? You do. Can we maybe arrange marriage? Uh, uh, so, uh, resort to default. So, for example, my uh, daughter and your uh, son. And... Uh, Yeah, I'm, by now I'm just using my daughters to stabilize the realm. Hopefully it makes sense. So there are no factions right now. And uh, as soon as, as soon as we are done with this war with uh, Prince Bishop of uh, Schaumburg, of uh, sorry of uh, Salzburg for Schaumburg, we should uh, revoke the thingy. Uh, okay. So she is lustful, just, and compassionate. I appreciate style and making impressions, activity and open sky, family and dynasty. Well, I mean, she is like a compassionate, just, and lustful, so probably she appreciates style and making an impression. Like activity and open sky is like meh. Loyal to family and dynasty. Let's let's try to let's try the dress. Okay, we siege down Salzburg. Now we can uh, enforce our demands. Uh, yeah, let's enforce demands, and so be it. Then we can disband our armies. Let's take a look at Schaumburg. Uh, thank you so much for the masterfully tailored clothes. Okay, so anything for you, my dear. Uh, we get automatically created Mayor Odalric, I guess, and uh, yeah, we personally now get the uh, castle of uh, Schaumburg. Good to see. So now, you, my little countess, my little countess, I want to revoke uh, county of... Um, Freistadt, 60%. I mean, uh, well, you can try. You can try. My little friend, bow to my decision. Okay. So um, now we have on the claims on Amstetten and St. Pollen. We're finally up to our domain limit. And it's good. 
like we have uh, currently like quite low control to be honest with you in this uh, states so we should probably um, probably use our uh, marshal to increase control in our lands like of course it uh, drifts towards 100 naturally but you know with spine master it's so much faster so much faster now we can get a better knight, so let's take a look at our knights. Uh, yeah, prowls 15, recruit to court. Yeah, just 15 uh, ducats, and then prowls 12 is good enough. So yeah, let's go. And now we have improved the quality of our knights, of our champions. That's good to see. So do we have... Uh... Yeah, we definitely need more money to be able to build up our domain. Can we ransom you? Eh, not for money, so like, meh. Why would we? So we are still gaining uh, wealth, focus and experience. We can usurp the Prince Archbishopric of Salzburg. Um, do I want to do it like right now? Statue of East Franconia and West Franconia? How come? Why am I third in line here? Oh, I see. It's like, yeah. It's because uh, I'm third in line after the Holy Roman Emperor, you know? Reading in Wien. Okay. Duchess Pernell, so my wife, suggested a reading. Uh, what she like to hear? Not something pious, I don't think so. Uh, yeah, let's be entertained. Travels to Byzantium. Good choice, Ernst. It was great, wasn't it? And, uh, okay. Kunrad's Hodic. Uh, yeah, let's recruit. Oh, 45 ducats. Come on, man. No. No, uh, no. No, no knight costs 45 whole ducats. Like, are you crazy, dude? I'm not paying that much to you. Uh, I would like to spend more money on uh, buildings currently. But I would also like to lose some stress, so probably... Like, going on a pilgrimage is like... Mm, meh. Convert to local culture? Oh, let's take a look. So I'm currently of a Franconian culture, and the land here is of a Bavarian culture. Cultures. Yeah, it's all like Bavarian. Um, what about my child? He is Franconian as well. Mm, I should probably, you know, actually convert to Franconian. Um, just because it fits the land where I want to expand in. Let's take a look at our uh, vassals. So, you guys, are you, like, uh, Bavarians as well? Yeah, they're all Bavarians. It's, well, okay, like, this Baron's mayors are, uh, Franconian, but... Like, yeah, all of these guys are Bavarian, I... Yeah, I'm foreign culture to them, and I'm for foreign culture to my realm. Like... This is bad, so I should probably convert to Bavarian. Yeah, let's convert to lower culture. It will cost some prestige, but that's okay. And we're missing some uh, money to call for hunt, so yeah, let's probably next man call uh, hunt. Yeah, I will lose stress because I'm diligent, so yeah, let's go and sound the horns. Yeah, and uh, mayors and barons converted cultures, as well as, I assume, our uh, son, yeah, our family, our wife is French Catholic, but, well, I mean, she's our wife, not our son. Okay, and uh, shameful diplomatic display. Prince of Hungary. Okay, well, diplomatic incidents happen. Who knew you? 
Let's take a look at our development in Bean. Eleven. Uh, so... <clears throat> yeah, we currently do not have a huge penalty because of existing development, so... It's good. Okay, uh, my wife is bearing a child. Bed decorated with roses. Smiles lavishly. Joins me without any hesitation. Of course, like, I mean, she's a pretty, uh, like, lustful seductress. Like, what kind of... <laughs> yeah, okay. Reform, reform the devotion with warp for God. You mean the marriage, I believe? Perhaps in a more carnal fashion than intended? Well, I mean, have you seen the lady? Okay. Uh, now united in heart. Uh, yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, becomes my lover is uh, exactly what I wanted. So now we have a relationship. Yeah, lover. So I need more babies. I need more alliances. Hunt, errant heir. Okay, my son, Leopold. Like, you know, the craven, callous, arbitrary son. Spineless black guy. Oh, yes. Uh, he's standing above a commoner, tugging an arrow out of the poor woman's chest. My son, what did you do? What did you do? You, like... Uh, uh, hide the arrow behind his back. It was the heart. Father, I swear. Soon enough, the rest of the party will catch up and demand an explanation. So, I can, like, I'm honest, I will not cover up for your mistakes, you little spineless blackguard. Wow, wow, I can kill my son, I can kill my son. That's uh, an interesting proposition. Like, my second son is not great either, but, you know, he's better than my primary son. Okay, rational, lucky, lazy, wrathful, generous. Yeah, not a great uh, set of traits, honestly. But at least he's a fortune builder. Like, you are, like, just a top soldier. Arbitrary Callous Craven. Again, not like. not great. But do I want him to die outright? Like, do I want to kill my own son? Ah. But murder secret exposed by you. So everyone will hate him because he will be a known murderer. Ah. That's a, that's a, you know, that's a, that's a tough choice right here. Like, I mean, he's, he's quite abysmally bad. Though he has a really nice grandson. Like, you know, a genius grandson, so who will inherit him in the end, and he's has an intelligent second son, whom we should educate, actually. Tough, tough choice, tough choice. Yeah, he must answer for his crime. Let his reign be short and uneventful. Yeah. Well, my son, you will pay for your mistakes. But me, as an honest man... Uh, is this your heir? You mean uh, the one uh, whom I was pondering whether to kill or not? Yeah, he is my uh, heir. We return home in disappointment. Oh, well, of course, my son killed like a peasant woman. Of course I'm disappointed in this, like, craven, callous, arbitrary, spineless, blackguard, murder. Again, may your reign be short and uneventful. Like, I want to play as your son. The genius one. Yes. Not as you. 
So hopefully, you know, if we live long enough and then uh, our, uh, like, son does not, then uh, our grandson inherits and we play as a genius character. Yeah. Isn't it a great plan? Of course it is. Adal... what? My son Adalbert is about to leave? Because... why? Like... Because you're unlanded and stuff? Do I care? Huh. I don't know. Probably not. I like... you'll play as known murderer. Well, I, 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 yeah, what can possibly go wrong? Maybe he will, like, leave and die somewhere. I don't mind that. I became a culture head of Bavarian culture? Ooh, isn't it nice? Like, I assume uh, Bavaria lost some land? So, let's take a look at our uh, culture. So, I'm fascinated by hereditary rule. Oh, I so am. Oh, I so am, and I have learning of 14, so... Uh, yeah, let's try to get uh, hereditary rule invention. And then... Uh, yeah, we're still fabricating a uh, hook on uh, Count Richard. So, I will be willing to give away a uh, barony of uh, Schaumburg to someone. Like, I don't know, my grandson, my second son. Not my firstborn. Like, my firstborn is not a good man. My prisoner died in my dungeons. Well, what? My mother was captured? My mother is, is in Zagreb currently? Yeah, mom. Shouldn't have left me. I'm like... You would be safe in Wien, you know? So let's... Uh, increase control in the uh, county of uh, Freistadt. Yeah, it's currently only at 37, so we definitely need to... Increase the control. Slash reduce the autonomy. Can I... Uh, can I... Nah, I'm, I, I cannot kill my son, but... Oops, sorry, so yeah, let's get a new perk. Wow, three alerts at once. Let's take a look at... Um, the stewardship... Um, lifestyle. Uh, so we can... Uh, get more uh, money out of... Vassals, Republican ruler opinion, nah, it's like monthly income per stress level, that's funny. Avaricious, it's like, okay, it's not great. Architect, though, like I would definitely like to get more uh, buildings, so maybe we should uh, get architect, you know? Like, building construction time and cost. Holding construction time and cost. Yeah, this will be... Yeah. You know, try to build a solid foundation for our dynasty. Like, improve our homelands in Wien, Krems, Hohenau, and stuff. Okay, uh, so we have a son. Are you genius? No. Well, a good Bavarian name. Vilkna. Nantberg, Sherald, Tassilo, Conrad. Yeah, I like Conrad. So now we have a third son. Okay. More children means more partitions. Okay. My counselor Ottokar died. Uh, okay. Do we have a, uh, like, we do have a new powerful vassal, I assume, or not? Okay, let's take a look at, um, 
So, uh, Count Otakar died. This is the guy uh, whom we went to war with uh, to get. Want to check which counties I'm, am I going to inherit? Yeah, let's check it soon. So, Count Otakar died, and uh, like he held three counties, and now they're like. So Adalbero and Otakar. So they were split between his uh, sons, I assume. Otakar and Adalbero. Any of them a powerful vessel of mine? No? So let's take a look at our uh, spy master position. Do we have any like powerful vessel not on the uh, council? No. Well, except for, of course, Prince Bishop uh, Werner, who actually, like, could be... Yeah, let's reassign Count Pilgrim to being our uh, spymaster, and then Prince Bishop Werner could be our uh, steward. Yeah. Looks great. Then you, yeah, just disrupt the schemes, I think, generally. You increase development in uh, Veen. Let's take a look at the development map mode. So we have uh, 11 in uh, Veen and kind of 8-ish, 9-ish across the board. Okay. Your court... Oh, okay. My court chaplain is preaching unorthodox doctrines. Do we have any allies? Okay, we are allied to Count Adalbera still and Count Pilgrim. So basically we have ally alliances only to our uh, uh, vessels, you know. And we have no prisoners, we should probably search for a position just in case, you know. Now let's start the search. Like, you know, you never know when you need a position. Things can happen. Well, things will happen, to be honest with you. Okay, court physician. Uh, okay, so we have uh, like these three guys. So you are uh, just no one with 17 learning. You're uh, seven learning. Then we have a mystic with 12 learning. I mean, they're all like not great. Like, yeah, they, they all fail to impress me, you know? They're like, none of them are real physicians, they're just like some random guys. It's not, not, not what I want here. So, since we picked up that uh, perk uh, in stewardship that uh, gives us better, you know, better buildings, we should probably ponder uh, uh, not duchy buildings, but maybe just some general buildings here. So we have uh, in Veen pastures, regimental clearings, and mansions. So basically it gives us tax and some ladies. I think I will want to have a fortification in my, uh, you know, capital. So I will want walls and towers. So let's save up money for walls and towers. Let's check which uh, counties am I going to inherit. So I'm like, not much. No. Uh, okay, we can demand payment from Otto on uh, Kotopsburg. Yeah, well, well, yeah, G give me money. Strong hook. Yeah. Give me monies. And now we can build them. Um, Walls and towers in Veen. So, yeah, let's go build them. Walls and towers, indeed. A low control in counties. Well, we are uh, trying to do something about it. We could fabricate some more claims, but we do have a truce with um, Prince Bishop of Salzburg until 1081, and then, like, we should be able to usurp the. Prince Archbishopric of Salzburg, well, 
do we want to? Like, it will give us uh, the Euro claims, but on our death, we will... Uh, yeah, we will be split. So, fabricate hook a secret. Count Richer. I uh, assume this is, yeah, the Count of Amstetten. Something to high. Okay. Get a weak hook. Uh, learn of a secret. So that I could uh, blackmail him. Uh, okay, so yeah, let's get a weak hook and then let's uh, discuss with him, uh, you know, the title, revocation, county of Amstetten, use a hook. Uh, like I don't even have to use a hook, he's at 100% already. Uh, so yeah, like I have a claim. Yeah, I can revoke it. Uh, he will not be happy, but he will be just an unlanded character in my court, so it's... Yeah, let's revoke the title. <sighs> well, I know the reasons. I know the reasons why does she do it, but... I'm not happy, like, you're uh, still... Uh, how come you're still a Count of Amstetten? Didn't I like... Okay. Okay. It is him of me. Yeah, like... Make your choice. It is him or me. You must forgive me, beg of you, will end it, of course I will. Stupid mistake, nothing more, I swear it. Okay. Okay. And now he, like, I stripped him of uh, his lover, I stripped him of his title. Ah, uh, yeah, it makes sense that he is now my rival, and okay. Looks like she got a Great box. Oh boy. Yeah. Count Adalbero. I don't know how, I don't know why, but your wife now has a great box. That's no good, I guess. Uh, can we. <clears throat> like, no, I don't want to search for a physician. Like, can I just, like, have someone in my court? Okay, so, um, relation uh, court, and then uh, sort by learning. So you're like my knight. Yeah, I don't have like good positions. Okay, we are still mis missing a chancellor. So, Count Adalbero. Wow, dude, you're great at intrigue and stewardship. Maybe you could be my, uh... Yeah, Count Pilgrim, uh, let's, uh... Let's reassign Count Pilgrim to this position, and then, as my spy master, I can have Count Adalbero. Yeah, let's do it like this. And we're approaching the end of the stream today. So, guys, will this episode will be uploaded to the YouTube. You can use the exclamation mark YouTube command in chat if you want to, like, get the address of my YouTube channel. And uh, the series of, uh, like, Duke Ernst of Austria of House Babenberg uh, will continue. On the YouTubes, I will try to upload an episode daily. Hopefully, someone will watch them. Maybe, who knows? At least I will uh, play a bit more, as you know, as a in a more uh, elaborate times as a normal Catholic feudal guy. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. 
So we are but a minor part of a Holy Roman Empire in this huge, huge world full of people who have their own lives, their own desires. Well, we are here, we are in Austria, and we are trying to, you know, do something worthy of our lifetime. Sometimes succeeding, sometimes not. For now, I think more succeeding than not. But we'll see how it goes on in the future. For now, I would like to thank everyone for watching. And, uh, well, the guys who are interested in U4, see you on Friday. Who is interested in CK3, see you on the YouTube. So, have a nice evening, and goodbye.